Hey, this is Scott Nimrod, uh, publishing name Bizmugger. You can find Bizmugger in the Windows Store or Windows Phone 8 Store. So, in an earlier uh, video that I posted, that I put out on YouTube, I talked about how I wasn't thrilled with the first party phone app um, that comes with your Windows Phone 8. And as a result, I decided to take it upon myself to well, attempt to build a, a better version of an application that will enable a user to just have a perhaps a better user experience in regards to the user workflow of accomplishing different tasks, such as searching for you know a particular contact. Um, and also, it would be nice if I could just group contacts together into various categories, such as friends, family, business, um, acquaintances, and then people that I just really don't interact with, but I haven't yet taken upon myself to remove them from my phone book. So in summary, I decided to build an app to based on those requirements, and I'm pretty happy with the results of it. So let's get started. I built an app right here called Group Alert, right? I'm sorry, it's not Group Alert, that's another app. I built an app called Group Contacts. Group Contacts is the app that basically implements the requirements that I specified earlier, uh, specifically the, the categorizing of a collection of contacts and also being able to select multiple contacts and perform uh, some type of messaging operation, whether it's email, uh, text messaging, etc. So let's get started. Go ahead and launch the app. And when it loads up, we already have some values in here um, because I've already done some configuring within this application. We see that within our friends list, you know, I got three of my homies in here. Sadly, I'm only going to add like 10 more. <laughs> I don't have that many friends. Uh, we have family, right? We have business, which I haven't yet added anybody to. Little bug here. And we have others, which is basically by default, everybody in your phone book. And the result is in order to categorize different users, you go ahead and select from your others group. Here's a Chris Stanek. He's an amazing uh, C++ developer. And you select a, a contact within your others group. And we want to move this to business. If we go to business, we see him right here. Also notice that we can get the various contact information that we need per contact. So we see this Chris Stanek, Rockwell Automation. Go to family, my brother, my mom, my girlfriend, friends, right? So that's the, the user experience that I was aiming for. Of course, none of this would ever be possible by writing XAML by hand. Uh, I decided to get my feet wet and I jumped into, or should I say I dived into, uh, or dove into, shall I say, Expression Blend 2013, which is, um, here's a little snippet. And the window that I'm recording on is of a certain dimension, so you can't see everything. But maybe if I panned, if I pan the, the application, you can see a little bit of what it is. And so I look at Expression Blend as a development tool for, for UI designers or UX designers more specifically to 
to orchestrate or direct a user experience based on various states, such as you see right here. <sighs> we have initialization, we have a friend selected state. We, we can specify the transitions of one state to another state and the amount of time that goes by, right? So again, this wouldn't be possible as a lone developer uh, that has really no, no user interface design skills. I really don't. You can tell by the other apps that I put up in BizMugger within a Windows store. Um, it wouldn't be possible for me to really accomplish this, but with Expression Blend, it is a learning curve, but it's amazing what you can do. And I've only been using this, this product from Microsoft for about two weeks, and I've already been able to get good results as a result of um, building some applications that are really focused on the user experience. So let's, let's check out something. Something that I thought would be cool with this app is it would be amazing if I didn't necessarily have to, within one application, uh, send a message one person at a time, such as a text message or an email. Maybe like in my business group, I want to send several people emails telling them what's going on for a particular uh, business event or business networking. Or maybe I want to notify my friends of some things that may be happening that day. One way we could do this is we can go ahead and tap this, this uh, app bar icon that's in the middle of our command bar or app bar. And we have an opportunity to go ahead and select various contacts that are based on that category. And from there, we can go ahead and send them a message. What up, blood? Uh -uh. We're going. We're, we're going to do it like this. What up, blood? And it's sent. All this from this app, without having to do an individual uh, message. It's clean, right? Something else that I built into this. Another bug. There should be empty spaces in here. Hopefully, this will be resolved by the time people download it is filtering or doing a search. So, for example, uh, we have, or I implemented autocomplete to do a search. And we see the available uh, communication mechanisms that we have for an individual contact, such as mobile, messaging, and email. In this case, the screen omelet, we don't have the email for it, but we do have our cell phone that we could uh, call or message. If we wanted to call her, we could just hit the uh, command bar icon for call, or we could just tap the, the icon that's on the, the user interface that's under an A, and we could do that as well. So that's a short snippet of the app group context that is an attempt to rethink the user experience for, for Windows Phone 8 phone application. Or should I say phone book application? Let's do one more. Let's uh let's add some people to business. Like Brian Zuter, also a great C developer. Alright. That's pretty much it. Alright. Thanks for listening. And uh in the next video, I'll probably have some more developments. Take care.